Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we'll learn how to connect Pinterest to N8N using the HTTP request node and Pinterest's API. Before we begin, let's talk quickly about what these two tools are and why you'd want to connect them. N8N is a workflow automation tool. It lets you connect different services together, pass data between them, and create custom automations without writing full code. You can think of it as a more flexible and open version of Zapier, but with more control and customization. It runs in the cloud or on your own server, and you can build workflows using a visual interface. Pinterest is a visual discovery platform. People use it to save and share ideas, products, and content using what they call pins. Pins are usually images linked to websites, and they're saved to boards. It's especially popular for things like design, food, fashion, and e-commerce. Even though N8N doesn't have a built-in Pinterest node, we can still create pins and interact with boards using HTTP requests and Auth2 authentication. Start by opening your N8N instance. Go to the Credentials section and click New Credentials. Choose OAuth2 API. In this section, we'll paste the required authorization and token URLs. For the auth URL, paste this. For the access token URL, paste. Set the grant type to authorization code. In the client ID field, paste this value. In the client secret field, paste. Now scroll down and paste this into the scope field. Leave the rest of the settings as they are. You'll see a redirect URI. Copy that value. You will need it later when configuring your Pinterest app. Now click Connect OAuth Account. A login window may appear. After approving access, your credentials will be saved. Now let's create a workflow. Click New Workflow, then add an HTTP request node. This node is how we will talk to the Pinterest API. Open the node settings. Set the HTTP method to Post. In the URL field, paste this. Scroll down and under Authentication, select OAuth2. Choose the credentials you just created. Now, scroll down to Body Parameters. Set the content type to JSON. We will now add the data needed to create a new pin. Click Add Parameter. Name the first parameter board underscore ID and paste in a sample board ID. 12345678901231. Add another parameter named title and set the value to new pin from N8N. Now add description and set it to. You're done with the configuration. Click Execute Node. If everything is set up correctly, N8N will send the data to Pinterest and you'll receive a response confirming the pin has been created. That's how you connect Pinterest to N8N using OAuth2 and the HTTP request node. This approach works for other Pinterest actions too, like reading boards or getting pins.